Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma bada habita fillah It's imperative as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we strive our best to worship Him tabarak wa ta'ala uh, as much as possible and that we fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as much as possible as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us all throughout the Qur'an Ya alladheena amin wa taqullah haqqa tuqatihi wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun O you who believe, fear Allah uh, haqqa, haqqa taqwa you know, in, in fully with taqwa, meaning doing the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and avoiding his prohibitions. And do not die except in a state of Islam. So I wanted to mention a hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which emphasizes the importance of doing ibadah until you die and not relying, never becoming arrogant and thinking that you've done something. Because none of us know when we're going to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nor do we know the status in which the state will be in, nor the status we will have with Allah Azza wa Jal. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Inna That verily deeds are judged in accordance with the last of them. And another hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will really uh, drive that point home for us. Listen to this hadith of the Messenger of Allah alayhi salatu wa sallam. قال إذا راد الله بعبدٍ خيرٍ استعمله فقيل كيف يستعمله يا رسول الله sallallahu alayhi wa sallam قال يوفقه لعمل صالح قبل الموت Ruahu Tirmidhi wa sahahuhu Shaykh al-Albani. This hadith in Sahih Tirmidhi, in which the Messenger of Allah alayhi salatu wa salam is the hadith of Anas radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said that if Allah wants good for a servant, he will use him. Then the Sahabas, the, the companions, they said, and how will he use him, Ya Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? The Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, he will bless him to be able to do righteous deeds before he dies. So that clarifies what we were talking about earlier, is that you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a good status, and that you strive to be on the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam until you meet Allah Azza wa Jal. Yaqul Mula Ali al-Qari, rahimahullah ta'ala, one of the explainers of uh, Sahih al-Bukhari, he said, Ay, hatta yamuta ala tawbati wal-ibadati fa yakun luhu husnul khatama. He said in his explanation, in his book, uh, Mirqatul Mafatih, Mafatih, he said that in explaining this hadith, he said, this means that he does these deeds until he dies. Deeds like toba, repentance, and ibadah, the various forms of ibadah and worship. And then he will have ta attained a, a, a good ending. You know, this is a husnat khawatim. This is a good ending. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who have righteous endings and that we meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, with, with good deeds. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.